Hello, my name is Michael Black. We're a landscape architect with Latera Studio, and we're seeking your input for Scenic Point Park. Anyone wondering what's going on with the lake? It's getting a new park. This is your Rowlett, and here's the location of your future Scenic Point Park. It may look like a small piece of our city, but we have big hopes for it. This piece of land has the potential to be the face of Rowlett and generate a tremendous amount of pride for the citizens. However, currently, this property is simply not meeting its full potential and has been underutilized far too long. We are fortunate to be in a city that has over 30 miles of shoreline. As a part of this shoreline, we have the unique opportunity and responsibility to properly care for these spaces and make them safe and accessible for everyone. We've gone through an extensive interviewing process to, se to select the correct uh, design firm for Scenic Point Park. Uh, at the end of that process, Latera Studios was the correct firm for us. Uh, they get the, the core values and, and services that we are trying to provide. We anticipate that this park will not only serve the adjacent property owners, but be a unique place that every citizen can enjoy. In reality, this will be a park that can be easily accessed by everyone. Citizen input is critically important for the design of any park. Parks are not built for cities. Parks are built for people. And in order for our parks to represent the types of amenities that people living in, in Rowlett would want to be a part of, people have to be a part of the process. It keeps it from being my park or the city's park, but it ensures that it will become our park. If you live within this circle, you will be able to easily walk to this park. If you live within this area, you will be able to easily run or bike to Scenic Point Park. As you can see, the entire city of Rowlett can easily access Scenic Point Park. I hope that Scenic Point Park becomes for the city of Rowlett what White Rock Lake has become for the city of Dallas. Well, since this park will be used by everyone and will really become a focal point of the community, it's, it's important to have everybody's input. In the end, we want Scenic Point Park to be a place of destination. It's that active piece. If you want to go out and be athletic, uh, ride your bike on the trail or uh, walk, jog, run, uh, but it's also a passive opportunity. If you just want to get in touch with nature or you want to go out there and, and enjoy a book or a picnic with your children or your family or, or just enjoy being a part of nature, it offers that as well. And that's something that we don't have truly in the city of Rowlett. So Saint Point Park is so much more than just a park. It is that economic development opportunity. It's proximity to Two Mile Bridge. It's proximity to uh, Lake Point Hospital. Uh, it's just limited only by our imagination. And I think that's what's so wonderful about get us, getting citizen input, is having all of these thoughts and, and energies come together and daring to dream. And I'm always delighted when we start a process because it always ends up being way bigger uh, than we thought for or could hope for. And, and I'm always delighted when I didn't dare dream big enough. And I have no doubt in Scenic Point Park, I haven't dreamed big enough. <music>